everybody and welcome back to my channel my name's Nadia and if you're new here then welcome and if you watch my videos then thank you ever so much and if you're not subscribed I would love you to hit the subscribe button and tap the bell and it'll let you know when I bring out more videos this is the 15 things I no longer buy and I've watched a youtuber her name's leanne says i think it is um i watched hers and i was like what is it i've stopped buying the way i see it is some of the things that she said it was like but how can you what if you dropped x y and z and let's say nail varnish i know i've got a big collection of nail varnish but I'm never going to say I'm not buying another one. So I was like, what really would I not do now? Unless it was an emergency. So as in, I don't know, I've got a wedding to go to and I've got no nails on because my nails are so short. So my first thing that I wouldn't do is go and get my nails done. And the reason why is because I've got enough nail polishes, enough gel, I've got dipping powders, I've got poly gel. The only thing that I can't do is acrylic and I'm like, I could do my own nails. I've spent all that money on these products and going to the shop on a nice, beautiful experience, really nice experience. But I find spending twenty, thirty pound every three month, every three weeks, a bit ridiculous. So that is my first one. So the second one is a spray tan. Now I was a some bed queen, and was on it quite a lot. Um, yes and no shouldn't be blah 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 all oh, scream at me in the comments but I know and I still like to sit out in the sun and get a little tan but I'm better at putting creams on now than I ever was you know I'd go in a sunbed without anything on my skin at all you know I'd go in after work or, I, or when I was just nipping into my local tan it was something that i did quite quite regular mine's more tanning beds than spray tans i've never got into spray tans don't like them would never pay for somebody to make me burn i just wouldn't i just don't see the point i know getting it naturally but naturally brown is wrong but i still can't wrap my head around having a spray tan so that's never going to happen for me. Buying chukka, as I call it, which is takeaways. So, uh, but buying takeaways, I very, and I mean, I think I brought one in about four years. So what I was saying was my children buy takeaways. I do not I have some of their takeaway, but I refuse to pay. I think it's just a total waste of money and especially when you've got a house full of food you know I don't find it that I'll just have it for a special occasion no if I'm going to eat something that's going to cost me 40 pounds I want to be sat in a restaurant not sitting on my bed eating Domino's pizza I just it doesn't make sense to me but Obviously, I think this is where age comes into it. My kids were brought on everyday meals, eating at home. And now it's the norm for them to eat chukka, takeaway, whatever you want to call it. And it's the norm. And so something that I would never buy unless it was even if i was die for it i would it would turn me off anyway so this is palettes with eyes lips 
and face cheek products as well you know where they're creamy won't buy them i'll probably buy one that's like I would probably buy one with like a bronzer and highlighter in but I mean like cream products in with eyeshadows that aren't cream, that are powder. I won't buy them. Um, I've got I see no reason why you have to have both together and if you are going to put both together I still don't think I'd ever buy one and I don't even think I've got any in my collection they're the sort of things that are I think of as what you give your children that you know them palettes that have everything in it that opens up in layers that was what I'm talking about no I'm sorry I couldn't do it it's not not something that I would ever want to purchase so the next one for me is magazines now obviously because my daughter goes to hospital a lot it's like every three weeks now i do buy magazines for her i don't read them this one is technically not one but it is because i'll buy them because she's in a hospital i don't go and think oh my god i've got to go and get the latest can't even think of the name one chat and see what's happening all of them nowadays are identical own ones they have the same things over and over again except for tell you what color the air is in your new house why can't you choose what color you want in your house it's like people keep saying to me why don't you paint your wall a nice color i'm like but i like magnolia i know it's boring but I ain't got to worry about cutting in or I just don't I just magnolia my entire house and then my colour comes from like my bedding from flowers from my makeup because obviously the makeup's got a lot of colour in uh, so I don't really see the point in it so that is another one Something that I have never done and will never ever ever pay for is to pay for a Sky rental movie and what I mean by that is where you go into Sky or NTL and you have the option to rent it or keep it. I would never do that because what it's going to cost you, you might as well go out and buy the DVD. And I'd rather watch that than I would because I know I can watch it again and again and again. And there's no point in me saying I'm not going to buy DVDs. This is why I said rented because I just see it as money down the drain. You know, if you want to watch it again, you've got to pay another four or five pounds. Then twi that twice you've watched it, you could have bought yourself the DVD and then you've got it and the same with the girls they still get even at the ages they are 28 and 24 they still get dvds they ask me for dvds it's not like i'm like oh what do you want and they go blah 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 and i go no you have dvds instead no they still ask me for specific dvds that was something that i could never say i would never buy i have literally cleared out my dvd collection of things that i didn't want and no i wouldn't read what watch i've kept my favorites like i love charmed i've got it i could sit and re-watch it at any time but if i wanted to get it out i know i've got it that's one of the reasons why i won't do it the next one is is hair dyes and i used to be a big hair dye person as in it was dyed every three weeks and i was blonde platinum blonde and now i've grown this out to my natural color i like it to a degree so i'm not ruling out highlights i don't know why i'm holding a pen i'm not ruling out highlights what i'm ruling out is box dyes 
I'm not buying box dies to put on my own ear. I've done it for my daughter, but I'm not putting it on my head. I just don't see the point of it anymore. You know, my hair's back to natural colour if I want to. And I really feel like I need a hair change. Then I probably would put highlights in. I have to think what the word was then. But for anything else, no. My hair's staying like this now for the rest of its life. Because I could never keep up with it physically. I could never keep up with keeping doing it over and over and over again you get your growth and then you leave it and then you're like oh my god i need to do me i don't i can just wash it dry it slap it up done another thing that i don't do and i don't think it's such a big thing in the uk as it is in other countries and this is changing your decor for the season there's a few people out there that do it i know that but it's not like i don't walk in my friend's house and it's like oh it's easter let's have all easter stuff out or oh it's spring now and we'll have all this out okay flowers yes but generally no apart from christmas nobody can not put things up for christmas so i don't decorate for seasons i'm not one for that i just feel like that it's it's pushed onto you and you know i do watch a lot of diys and all you see them make is fall summer winter autumn i'm like and then they come to the uh so so say this has started in summer and then obviously we have autumn they're there and they're doing the exact same thing <laughs> with autumn on it and i'm like where's the inspiration where is the your own ideas i watch a youtuber called yolanda oh my god i forgot her last name she is an amazing amazing talented woman amazing is it Yolanda Essentials she has the talent that you know she can build a clock out of, out of paper plates and things like that that's what I want to see on the DIY channel not well if you buy these powerland things and paint it and put fall on it no I uh, her imagination to build things she's built swings before them rocking chairs that you can hang from the ceiling she's built one of them just out of diy stuff and that's what i want to see i don't want to see repetitiveness and the amount of channels that i have watched recently that regurgitate old stuff because basically it's their camera they come in like i do give my intro and then the angle is put on the product and i'm sat there and i'm like i'm sure you did that last year when i watched you and they were regurgitating the same every single time and so no for me so this is a really weird one no more paper till i use up the last bit in my house because I have booklets like this this has got all my things on that I write down and what I do is I'll buy it I've cut a, thrown a lot of paper away out of here that I've wrote so these are my I prefer paper than my phone I'm not a phone junkie I've got a lot of paper booklets like this i've got nice pretty ones i've got small ones i've got big ones you know when my daughter went to uni last year she raided my cupboard she didn't have to go out and buy anything that's how much i had until i've not got or say i'm on my last book then i can have another one but until then no not doing it 
the next thing that I'm not doing anymore, and I've only think I've done it a couple of times, I'm not doing backup of makeup. And the reason behind that is because I haven't used the one and or I've used it up, really liked it, but I've got 15 foundations that I need to use up. Why am I buying a backup of one that, yes, okay, I really, really like, but I really, really like the 15 that are in my back, in my normal, because I've used them and gone, I really like them. So why am I going out and buying the same one when I can use up ones that I still love? There's nothing, there's no reason, unless you use it constantly. And I don't. If I use up this, say, Elf Dewy Setting Mist, it's here. If I use this up, I'm just going to get another Dewy, mist, Dewy Setting Mist out because I've got so many. The Supreme Matte Finishing Spray, the Revolution, is finished. This is for Project Pam. But basically, I'm going to not. I love this, love it with passion, but why not use all the products that I also love with passion, you know, I can't imagine anything that I would love and that I'm going to constantly use. The odd bottle here and here is not going to dent in my makeup whatsoever, so for me that is one thing that I'm not going to be doing. So another thing that I'm not going to be buying is air products that don't suit my hair type. So at the moment, I'm on the curly girl method. Well, I'm not, but I am. But I'm not buying. I've got one air spray that I've had for donkey's years. And I use it once in a blue moon I don't use it when I do my curly girl method because my hair stays as it is. If I was to go out to a wedding or something like that, that would be totally different. I'd probably use it just to keep my hair where I wanted it to. But on a day-to-day -day basis, I do not use it. I do not use it. And on even on a odd occasion, I do not use it. I will literally either have my hair up like this or... Have it if I've got it down. I've used the Cantu products that I've now got into, but even before this, I did not use products. I've only just realised my how curly my hair is, and to enhance them, I need a little bit of help. That is something that I'm not buying any more of ever again. Hairspray, I and dry hairspray to lift your roots up oh, I heard a bat came in a little bit darling or just pin your hair up uh, I don't have dirty hair I can leave <laughs> I could leave my hair for like a week without washing it I don't obviously I wash every, I wash it twice a week that is it twice a week my hair is nice my hair is soft it's not damaged why am I going to bother with anything that's going to just add more damage to my hair? So the next thing on my list of things that I will not purchase unless mine's absolutely had it. And this is purses. Now, I know in America purses are handbags. In the UK purses are what you keep your money in. So... But some people call purses handbags as well. Uh, it's what we call, I call a purse where you put your money, your credit cards, things like that. I only ever have one purse until it's absolutely necessary, like the last one I had. All of the inside was ripped, so every time I put a card in, I couldn't get my card out. I demolished it, but... I'm only repurchasing purses. I'm not having 15 purses sat on the side until... Who changes the purse? 
who changes the handbags that's what i'd like to know because i know i don't i've kept this i've still got my dkny and i'm still using it and i love it it's perfect it's been perfect for what i want and i was gonna buy another one and i was like i don't need another one i'm really happy with this one money purse coin purse whatever you want to call it i see no reason to have more than one because you know i'd forget to change out all my cards out i've got a lot of cards i've got a lot of sick like points cards in there that i go everywhere with so if i go into a shop and they've got points i bet you a thousand pound i've got <laughs> the card for that shop so there isn't many shops that i haven't got it for that is something that again i will never never do so the next thing is is keeping up with the joneses i <laughs> and everybody's looking at me like what do you mean i'm not one of these people to if jones has got it i've got to have it unless i want it so it's a bit like say a youtuber comes along and goes this is really good and you should get it and i'm like mm, i like it but i know for a fact it'll be on sale soon so i'll wait like the jeff star palette like the jacqueline hill like anastasia all my anastasia stuff was off price which i've got most of it on today but i prefer to buy my the, it might have been out a month the only way that i would ever because i tried it tried keeping up with the trend on youtube with makeup i've never done it for anything else never have i tried to keep up with anybody but when you start a youtube channel you're like well i've got to have that palette because i need somebody to see that that i've got to have that now i'm realizing that no i don't yes i do buy new stuff but it's when i want to try something it's not like i've seen jones try it there's a video coming out or has already gone out i can't remember of the collection and i didn't know i bought foundation because it was cheap it was like four pounds something and the concealer and i did a wear test on it and i was like oh they've just relaunched more and i didn't even say that in there i didn't even realize that they'd relaunch more i knew they'd done more shades but i have told everybody it's 10 and apparently it's not it's 20 shades of all together but on my local page it says 10 so i'm going to go off with what that says so they haven't updated the website basically where i go and get my stuff from which is super drug so i'm trying not to keep up with the makeup trends in the sense of unless i really want to a support a youtuber then i will get whatever they brought out if i like it enough but i'm not wishing out oh this is here i must get it uh no if i want anything now i generally wait till the sale because i know within a month of ev everybody rushing out and buying it it's in the sale a month later you know we're coming up to another sale guys it's september october and we get another sale and then we get one in November for a hundred percent because it's Black Friday. My next one is technically something I've always been like. I was starting to struggle with things that I could think of. I haven't got hundreds of pairs of shoes like a lot of people have. I've got a couple of pairs of like sandals that I had last year and i've got a pair of flats and i've got one pair of flats that i had last year or that i brought last year and i've worn this year so i'll probably buy another pair this year for next year and boots and that is it so for me this is quite an easy one not buying loads of shoes i don't want to go down that barrel of shoes 
I don't want, really don't want to. I know a lot of women love the shoes, but for me, they're just shoes. Now, on the other end, I would never say slippers because I love my slippers. I think that's no, because even when I was working, I still love my slippers. I pro, I pro, I have probably got more slippers than I have shoes, and I've got a lot of slippers. I'm a slipper girl, and I do like my slippers, and I buy them when I don't necessarily need to as well. So I've got to stop doing that. So the final one is bras. Now I. Don't get me wrong, I do like some cheap bras. As in, I like Asda's cheap t-shirt bras. They're really nice. I will buy them. But I'm not going to Primark and picking up a bunch from there again. Because I've done it recently. And they weren't worth it. They re really weren't. They were, quality was rubbish on it. They came apart, you know. And guys, I don't wear my bra often. I, under this, I've got a little um, cameo, black cameo top. So if you've been seeing it all this time, sorry. But I just can't, I can't get on board with dirt cheap bras. A, I need the support, but also my back because of the fibromyalgia. When I got the ones from Anne Summers and I tried got the correct size one because obviously COVID you can't try them on so I brought them home and the one that did fit me like a glove and I mean like a glove and this is also the thing you've got to worry about is because your body changes so much some weeks it couldn't fit perfectly a week later it could not having different bras is nice and this is why when I go into, right, I need some new bras, I will buy from different places to make sure that I've got thingy. But I've now decided that that £15 that I spent on three bras, I should have spent on one and got one really good quality one. In the sales, guys, I mean in the sales, because we all know that good quality ones are like up there. So I'm not doing it anymore to myself. I'm having a really good, positive bra experience. Especially with that blue bra. That blue, you know, it's amazing. Hey, it's sitting so nice. Don't pull. Don't. It's not too tight around here. I'm like, I want to go <laughs> take it back and go. I want to rip up, rip a replica of this one, but in different colours. <laughs> Because it's blue, so it doesn't go under white, so I still need, like, that's why I like the Asta ones, because although they are cheap, they're not as cheaply made as Primark. So, that's it for me, guys. That is 15 things that I am no longer going to be buying. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know it's a new one for my channel, but why not? These are things that, you know, I'd do a Q&A, but I need people to ask me questions. I'd love to do a Q&A, um, but until I've got questions, I can't really do it. If you want a Q&A, but me making it up, then I could do that and give you a bit more information about myself, then let me know in comments below and if you enjoyed this i'm hoping to come out with more talking videos guys hopefully you enjoyed this if you did don't forget hit that subscribe button tap the bell and also hit the thumbs up because these are what i i need you know again people are saying because i'm not a big youtuber you get to air off big YouTubers when the channels are starting to mess around and they are messing around again. So I would really like and appreciate the thumbs up and comments. So I'll see you guys in my next one. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.